Keisha from Coconut Robot, and today I'd like to show you how I made these cute little leather flowers using my brother Scan and Cut. I wanted to create a project that could utilize some of the scraps that I have laying around. I have a lot of fabric scraps that I keep, a lot of leather scraps that I keep, and a lot of even wooden uh, scraps that I keep, wood veneer. And so um, just by drawing out a quick little flower, I just made these little brooches that you could really use in so many different ways. You could embellish a dress by cutting out many of these and adhering them on, um, either by a rivet or sewing them or ironing them on. Or um, you could put a snap on this and put a snap maybe on a cute backpack. And then you could switch them out. So you could do a flower. You could do a little snowman. Um, you could change them according to the season. Uh, you could also adhere this to a pin. Um, if you like bigger necklaces, you could even um, put a hook on the end and put that on a chain or on a um, thicker necklace slide or make a beaded necklace. The really the possibilities are endless. Um, I cut these out of leather, but you could also cut them out of wood, um, fabric, whatever you'd like. So let me go ahead and show you what I use to create these little brooches. First, I just simply took a marker and um, just made some flowers. Uh, if you have a child that loves to draw, you could really personalize this project and let them draw some flowers and use those to cut out. Um, might be kind of a neat age to age project where um, perhaps every year you have them draw out maybe their name or a letter and use that to cut out for these little um, scrap projects and just see how they evolve over the years. I think that would be really neat to see. We'll be using our scan mat to scan in the flowers or whatever item that you've drawn. Um, scan that into our scanning cuts. And then I'll be using my fabric mat with my fabric support sheet and my deep cut blade to cut out the leather. Again, if you're cutting out fabric or using um, fabric with the applique backing, you won't need to use a deep, deep cut blade like I have. Um, so it just depends on the fabric that you're using. 